Hi FlossTube, I'm Annie and I'm the Proper Stitcher and welcome to episode number 25. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I am coming to you on a Thursday evening. I usually film earlier in the day, but today we've had some unexpected things come up and so my day has just gotten later and later, but I didn't wanna wait until tomorrow to film because tomorrow is just as busy. But it is Thursday evening about 8.15, and as I said, this is episode number 25. Thank you all so much for coming back and joining me this week, and for all of your responses last week to our question of your favorite floss tube shout outs. And we had so many wonderful responses. I found some floss tubers that I have not watched before, and I was so excited to go and watch and, and check out some of the floss tubers that I was not familiar with. Um, please go back to that episode, read the comments, and you won't be disappointed, and make notes of floss tubers that you are not aware of, um, and you might find some new floss tubers as well. So, um, like I said, I'm filming on a Thursday evening. I usually film during the day, but I have had an unusual week. Um, for, first of all, before I forget, we all joke about me saying counting is hard and it's the truth. Um, I miscounted and misnumbered, labeled my episodes. I thought that this would be at floss tube number 24, but it's actually 25. I had labeled two floss tubes the same number and therefore I was off <laughs> by um, by numbering my episodes. So this is floss tube number 25. Um, I broke my tripod today. I filmed a tutorial video for, um, the JBW design, uh, Christmas ornament pillows. I tried that for the first time and filmed a tutorial. In the process of doing that, I broke my tripod. So that hap that is one, one of the reasons why there's a delay in me filming this floss tube and why it's dark because my light lighting is off. And the other reason that I am coming to you late today is because my son, um, we just discovered that he has a fractured bone in his foot and we had no idea. This is an injury that probably happened about five or six weeks ago. Um, mother of the year award right here. Um, my son runs cross country and he's constantly icing his foot and, and saying something hurts just because it's, it's, he runs a lot on any given day. He can run anywhere from, if it's a light day, it's a three miles, but the most he will run in a day is eight miles. And so obviously he's gonna have some injuries or some discomfort. So, and he wears orthotics in his shoes. Um, he, he goes to a sports medicine um, physical therapy for um, just just to help massage those muscles in his feet. Well, we didn't think anything of it and he kept saying his foot hurt. It was a little swollen. We would ice it, but he could still walk on his foot. I mean, in my mind, if now that I'm looking back, I would have thought that if you had a broken bone in your foot, you wouldn't be able to walk on it, right? Well, this poor kid, he's been walking around on a foot that has a his third metatarsal on his left foot has a fracture. So tomorrow he has an, a doctor's appointment with an orthopedic and we will know more about what's going on with that broken bone and what we can do to um, mend it and repair it. So it does not sound good, but we'll see. But I felt so bad. Anyway, the other big thing that's happened this week is, and you can probably see one of my lights in the, the reflection, but I needed some light in here. It's a dark room at night. But, so sorry about that. But uh, my daughter and my husband went to Michigan for a overnight tour for a college. Um, so they were gone on Tuesday night and they left early Tuesday morning, came home late, late Wednesday night, about 11 o'clock last night. And she had a great time. I love the school, really wants to early apply and um, fingers crossed. I mean, it's, it's a, one of those journeys that um, we just don't know what will happen, but she had the best time and really loved the school. So she is going to early apply. She takes her ACT again next weekend, not this weekend, but September 11, Saturday, September 11. So please say a prayer for her that she um, has good results from that ACT. Grab your coffee, grab your stitching, grab your tea, your wine, whatever you're drinking at this time of the day. Let's talk about stitching. Let's talk about 
um, everything else. If this is your first time joining us, this is a show or a channel where I like to talk about cross stitch and quilting. And I like to bring in my philosophy of just finish your projects. Don't worry about things being perfect. Um, as you go through the motions and as you finish more and more projects, you will become better at it. And just don't leave your beautiful stitch pieces piled up in a basket or a box or a bag somewhere and never see it again. They are meant to be framed and loved or, or finished into some sort of piece to decorate your home with or give as gifts or set out for the holidays, not, not to stitch and just put away. So let's, let's try to tackle some of those things and not worry about them being perfect. I filmed a tutorial video. Um, I'm going to upload both of these videos at the same time. This one will be labeled episode number 25. That one will just be labeled um, pillow ornament tutorial, I believe is what it's called. It is nothing special or fabulous, but I really wanted to just jump in and try something uh, new and try a tutorial video. So we'll see how it goes. I definitely think I'll do more. Next time I'll try not to break my tripod and my light, but um, I, I tightened it too much. I was trying to fold it down and I tightened it too much and it just broke. So the, it broke in pieces. I couldn't even put it back together. Maybe if I had duct tape, but I didn't want to do that either. So, okay, let's just jump right into our stitching. Oh, one more thing before I forget. A lot of you have asked about an update on my sister, Lisa. Um, she's doing great. She started immunotherapy, um, two months ago. So she's had two treatments, two or three treatments and she's doing great. So we are just um, hoping that um, the next time that they have their scans, which should be in a, a, around December or January, that things still look great. Um, I really appreciate you all asking about her. So let's jump into some previous finishes. Take a drink of my peach green tea. It's so pretty here today. And my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone who has been affected by Hurricane Ida. In Knoxville, we got a lot of rain. It rained probably for maybe 30 hours straight, just rain. It never let up, just pouring down rain. Lots of flooding, but no damage to where, we, where I am. Um, but I know a lot of places have been effective, especially affected, especially in the Gulf um, and up in uh, the New England area and in Tennessee. So my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone who has been affected by Hurricane Ida. Um, I hope you're safe. I hope that um, you uh, things get back to normal and that your family and your friends are safe. So let's um, go into our previous finishes. And I have one that's one of my favorites. This is one of the first pieces I stitched when I returned to stitching and I did not finish this. A local um, seamstress or finisher finished this for me and it's it's really thin. It, I may go in and add to it, but this is probably finished in 2010, 2011. But this is a la -de da piece and it's it's by the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. And I just love this piece. And it's finished into a pillow. Here's the back. And she made a cord, cording with that fabric. When I was at Keepsakes in Cincinnati or Sharonsville, Cincinnati, outside of Cincinnati, um, they had a model of this stitched and they changed the stocking here. Um, and look at that little Look at that little spider on her stocking. But they changed the stocking colors to red and white and it is adorable with that pop of red and white. But this is la -de da and I think it's called By the Pricking of My Thumbs. And I just love all the spiders and how they are hanging down from the web and on the boot. What I do with this piece is I have a doll. It's a Joe Spencer doll and it, it has the head of a, a it's a woman, um, pumpkin and she's dressed in this black dress and she sit, I sit her somewhere, either in a chair or on a table and she holds this pillow. And it's just one of my favorite pieces to pull out. But I also have the companion piece to it. This is Toil and Trouble and it also by La -de Da. And it says, double, double, toil and trouble, fire and burn, cauldron bubble. 
super, super cute. And that nose, same spiders, so cute. But these are both Lottie Da pieces and they are, they've been around a long time. Like I said, I stitched this probably in 2010, 2011. Super cute pieces. And then another previous finish Halloween piece that I have is a Brenda Gervais um, Witch's Night Out. And this was professionally finished by um, Joy Hayward with Finally Finished. And it feels like she stuffed it with crushed walnut shells. And I just love this piece and that cauldron and that witch. And she put this charm on it. And she pushed it in with some straight pins. And then she trimmed it with this orange rickrack and then backed it with this cute fabric. And this sits in um, one of my dough bowls on my coffee table, dough bowl, D-O-U-G-H, dough bowl. So, Witch's Night Out with Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. But this, actually this gives you an idea of what it looks like when something is finished with crushed walnut shells because in time, it gets a little bit slouchy. If you see, like if this if this were stuffed with polyfill, it would still be kind of sturdy and stiff. But with it like this, I can also sit it on its own on the table, on a table. So it has more um, stability, but it does sag a little bit over time. But, or if you lay it flat, it stays flat. Super pretty. I love this piece. So much detail. I love Brenda Gervais. This one, I, on both of these, I used the called four colors. So, um, those are my previous finishes. Some of you asked for me to show you how to use the button tool, uh, covered button tool that I showed you last week. So, I cut the circle fabric. So this is um, these are this is what I used on the button cover that I made for my wordplay, my October wordplay last week. And so you use the trimming tool that comes with it. They all come in this little container. And I trimmed out. So you lay it over your fabric. I trimmed and cut the circle. This is my um, oh template. <laughs> so I did that. Then you take this piece of it and you put your fabric in it. And then here is the, the metal button. You place it right on top. And you wanna kind of get that even. And then you push it in. And then you take the back. I should have done this on the other video too. You take the back and you, you tuck all of this into that metal piece. And so it's like this. And then you put this here. It's on the outside, the, 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 the little um, hook. And then you take the blue piece. And then all you do is you push it together. And it, if I did it right, it should have made us a covered button. And then I'm gonna pop it out and it did. So here's our covered button. And you can leave this on the back, the, um, the hook, or you can mash it in and use it and glue it on a bow, or you can sew it on a bow. But that's how you make a covered button. Greatest tool ever. I love it. And it will come in handy with some future finishes for sure. A few things before I forget. My friend Yoke um, on Instagram, uh, she, I told y'all last week, she asked me if I wanted to do the stitch along with her for the Scarlet House floral motif. And I told her I just couldn't add another thing on my plate. So we decided to move it to October 1st. So if you would like to join us starting October 1st, on this stitch along, go ahead and start getting your materials together for floral motif sampler. I think in, in October, I might be able to have more time to get this one started, but this is a beautiful sampler by Scarlet House. So start getting your materials together. All I have is the pattern. So I'm gonna start getting my fabric, 
my floss and everything. And so um, I, will, I will keep you posted on what I decide to use on this one. And then another quilt along that I am doing is with Celeste. Celeste creates, she's a YouTuber, um, and she has a floss tube and a quilt tube, a quilty tube. But she contacted me a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted to do a simple introductory, very simple, simple quilt using fat quarters, uh, eight fat quarter bundles. And so I said, yes, she has uploaded her second video. The first video is on cutting your fabric gives you everything you need to know about cutting your fabric. Second video she uploaded yesterday. So I have my fabric cut, and I, but I haven't watched the second video yet because she just uploaded it. But this is my fabric that I use. I have two fat quarter bundles. This is the one I haven't opened yet, but I'm using this. Use any fat quarter bundles you want. Just You just need eight of them. So go and check out her videos. I will link that below so you can. So we are on, today is September 2nd. I am so glad that the month of September is here because it means it's getting us closer to fall. And with that, I want to show you my end of August. So here's my August on uh, Book of Days. And I am so glad, and it's so much fun to keep track of this. Here's my September, getting ready to start September. And I saw that they are going to start, some of Needle Workshops are going to start taking pre-orders for 2022 Book of Days calendars. So keep, keep, um, keep your eyes out for that. Okay, let's move into my finishes for this week. Actually, let's do whips so I can get these off the table. Um, you know, life gets in the way, and this week is a prime example of how life got in the way of my free time and my cross stitch time and my quilting time. I did not get to work on my quilt this week. I did not get to work on kitty corn. Um, I did not get to work a lot on my cross stitching, but I did get some things almost finished and I did get some, some fully finished items in, but I did not get to work on Quaker Christmas. But I did bring it to share with you because it may be your first time or you missed last week. But if you're not familiar, I am stitching a Quaker Christmas with Artie the Vintage Stitcher. Uh, this is a stitch along that we are doing and you can join anytime you want. This is from Bygone Stitches and you can stitch a Quaker Christmas one, which is this one, or a Quaker Christmas two. I am using 36 count cream Edinburgh and the Classic Color Works colors in Balsam Fur, Ye Old Gold, and Cupid. So these are the colors I'm using. And I really do enjoy this stitch. And now that it's September, sampler September, this is gonna be my focus piece. But this is my progress I showed y'all last week. So I am really looking forward to getting a lot of this done. So this is, this is how big it will be. And what I think I'm gonna do, I saw Artie, she, she's working around the border. I think I'm gonna do that too, just to make sure that I have my border lined up. And then if I need to modify any stitches in the meantime, I can. So that is a Quaker Christmas from Bygone Stitches. If you are interested in joining us on that quilt uh, stitch along, just follow us on Instagram or we both have Facebook pages. You also can get some information on my previous videos, but it is a very relaxed stitch as you go kind of a stitch along. Please join us. Um, the other piece I worked on this week, I cannot show you because it. Uh, this actually did take a lot of my time, um, but I am working on my um, retreat piece. I am attending a retreat with um, Stitch Etc., who is the host. She is hosting a retreat in Greenwood, Indiana at the end of this month. And the guest of honor and the um, designer um, host or the designer guest is Priscilla and Chelsea with Stitchy with the Housewives. And they and Priscilla designed a Halloween piece just for the retreat. And I believe she's going to be releasing that design after the retreat at some point. But I stitched it on this dark linen that uh, Ashley, uh, Kim's daughter, uh, dyed for us. And these are all the colors. So once we have the retreat and we have um, finished this 
when, and when Priscilla tells me it's okay, I will share this piece with you all. But that is one of the things I stitched on this past week. And it is a cute Halloween piece. I just love Priscilla's Halloween designs. Another thing that I was able to stitch on a lot over the weekend is my Blackbird design, um, Tis the Season. It's in this Home for the Holidays book, which is a beautiful book. It is still available um, at your local needlework stores or on 123 Stitch or, or Etsy, you can find it. But this is what I'm stitching out of this book. And this is called Tis the Season. I just love this cardinal. I am stitching this on 32 count Picture This Plus Valor Linen. And you can see how pretty that green is. Oh, my bird's upside down. You can see how pretty this green is and how the modeling is just so beautiful. But here's my progress. I was able to finish outlining the cardinal. He now has legs. And I filled in a little bit more red. I really, this is another piece I really want to finish this month so I can have it framed for Christmas. I am using all of the called for um, classic color works, Bella Swa colors. They are beautiful. I dropped one on the floor. They are beautiful colors, super soft, um, just so silky, very pretty. I'm using two strands over two. This is 32 count. So I'm using two strands over two on this. And then for my Tomato Tuesday, I have been stitching Luminous Fiber Arts, Counting is Hard, and it is true, Counting is Hard. This is what I've been stitching. By Luminous Fiber Arts, Counting is Hard, I am stitching this on 32 count Vintage Country Mocha. I'm using all the called for DMC floss. I'm stitching two over two. And here's my progress. I am almost done. I stitched this tomato, which is beautiful. I love the two shades of green and the red, just beautiful color choices. All I have left to do is the back stitching on the needle and one, two, three. One, two, three goes in the middle and then the back stitching for the pins in the tomato. That's all I have left on this. So hopefully next week I will have this finished and ready to frame and show you. So counting is hard, luminous fiber arts, and I ordered for Halloween her new releases for um, Halloween, so cute. I love luminous fiber arts. So that is all of my whips. I did have a finish that was a whip, and that is a JBW design um, piece that I've been working on. So. Let me pull all that over here. And that is what I did the pillow tutorial on that I am also uploading tonight with this video. There'll be two different videos, but I've uploaded both of them. So you all remember, I have been stitching from JBW Designs Christmas Ornaments 2 book. I've been just stitching several of these in this book. So I showed y'all over the last few weeks the ice skate and I put this ice skating charm on it. And I've been using the French General uh, Moda Fabric Joy Noel. And I've been cut, fussy cutting some motifs on the back. But this is the ice skate. This is the heart stocking. You can see all the heart motifs. And then the snow globe. And then I finished plum pudding. And here's my finish. So this is plum pudding. I just love this. I used a gingerbread man charm. I used this last of my ribbon or that I had of this. This is a vintage ribbon I've had for a long time. And I did the same as I did with the others. I used one inch strips and sewed them around the front. And then I put this on the back of this one. I think this is a mistletoe. So I now have, four, I used on this one, 32 count Seju Sable Linen. I used a combination of DMC and Weeks Dye Works and Classic Color Works. So on the pattern, 
The brown is Chestnut Weak Style Works. I use the, the white here, which someone corrected me. This is not icing. Icing is not on plum pudding. I think this is melted butter, but I use the white DMC, Classic Color Works Ribbon Red, and Classic Color Works English Ivy. English Ivy is here. So, Weak Style Works Chestnut, DMC White, Classic Color Works for Ribbon Red, and English Ivy. But I stitched this one on the cream or the sable color because I wanted the white to stand out a little bit more. So these others I stitched on the Sajour 32 count antique white. So I now have four of these for my tree. So four JBW Designs ornaments. And I think my next one is probably going to be one of the mittens in here. Either the mitten or from her other book, I might do the rocking horse. So cute, I'm so glad to have these now ready to go on my tree, Christmas tree. Thank you so much, Judy, for fabulous designs. So those are all of my um, finishes for the week. I wanna give you some shout outs. So, like I said, I asked you all to give me shout outs of some floss tubers that you like to watch. And in, in your responses, I found some floss tubers that are new to me. And two of them are newer floss tubers. Um, one is So Me Sarah, S-E-W Me Sarah, and she is in Ireland. And she has the best channel. I love watching her. She's very calm and mild and her stitching is beautiful. And her daughter, Charlotte, um, is just such a delight to watch and to see. And she is her assistant um, sometimes in her floss tubes. So I will link Somi Sarah below. The other one is Bougie Sisters, B-O-U-G-I-E Sisters. And they have only filmed like three or four floss tubes. And they are so much fun to watch. Um, they are... They remind me of me and my sisters. They just laugh so much and have a good time and they were fun to watch. So I will definitely definitely be keeping an eye out for them in the future. So I will link both of those floss tubers below and go and check them out and tell them I said hello. Um, okay, let's do our my haul and gifts that I have received this week. First, I'm gonna do my gifts. My friend Kim Gavlick, um, that you've heard me talk about, she stitched this beautiful piece for me. It's called For a Friend and it's by October House. She knows that I love blue and she just couldn't resist stitching this for me. And she has beautiful stitching. I mean, look at the back of this. I don't know what she used on it. Um, I probably DMC or she may have used, uh, I'll have to ask her, but if it's, if it's not the called for, I'll let you know. But um, she sent this to me in the mail. She said, I don't think that I know how you would want it finished. So why don't you ha take it? I will send it to you and you finish it how you want. And I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it into a pillow or if I'm going to frame it for my wall or bookshelves. I think it would look really pretty in a white frame. So for a friend, October House is the designer. And this is from my sweet friend, Kim Gavlick. Thank you, Kim. And then I got from Sue, she sent me a envelope full, just an envelope full of patterns to use as giveaways. So these will be put in the pile for our future giveaways. Thank you, Sue, for sending that. So my haul this week was pretty small. I didn't get a lot in the mail. I, um, I think the mail must be slow. I, did, I have ordered some things, I just haven't gotten them in the mail yet. And I don't know why that is, um, but I did get a few things in the mail. And some of the things I got will be a giveaway for today. So I ordered by mistake two needle minders. These are really more than needle minders. I got these from Fat Quarter Shop. This is the Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. The, this is her magnetic needle minder and it's a giant tomato. I mean, to give you an idea, okay, so here's my little clicker. Well, you may not know the size of that, but that is how big this thing is. It is huge. I think really this is um, great for your scissors and your needle. 
um, to place them on that so you don't lose your scissors too. So I accidentally bought two. I don't know how I did that. One for me, one for you. So one of those will be a giveaway today. Then I got in the uh, from Etsy from Sterling Jewelry Supply. I'll link their shop below. I ordered some charms for um, my Christmas finishing. And so I used the gingerbread on the plum pudding I put on that. And then I got one Halloween one, a witch. Um, so these will be used as finishes. There's a nutcracker in here, a snowman, bells, um, a Christmas tree, a wreath, and a candy cane. So these are beautiful. They came really fast too. And I ordered from Joyful Stitches, Stitching online on um, Etsy, I ordered this pattern. It's called My Happy Place. It's by Romina Petrucci, My Happy Place. And it came with a sweet note from Deborah or Deborah. She is the shop owner and she included a DMC floss with it. So that's gonna be fun to stitch. I also got some PDF downloads. One is Priscilla's new Jolly St. Nick. I downloaded this piece and that's gonna be really cute. And I downloaded from Modern Folk Embroidery. Jacob has a new line or a new shop called Dark Crosses and I downloaded this owl. I thought this would be perfect for a Halloween stitch. So those are all of my cross-stitching um, haul. Then I got some books on samplers. Many of you know, uh, on the 25th of each month, I do a Quaker sampler update um, the, for the Christmas Quaker sampler. And it's kind of um, molded into a research project for me on researching Quaker samplers. And so I'm getting some books in the mail. One book I got is Samplers A to Z. And this is from, or by, Pamela A. Parmel, Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Sorry, you got, and in here, um, it, it really goes by A to Z, um, E for embroidery. So it's just more of um, an alphabet type book, just to give you a little bit more information on samplers. Um, for instance, F is for French knot. And so each of the images in here are pieces of work, um, textile or embroidery or needlework that, that they have in the museum. Um, and it's for numbers. So it's really kind of fun, a quick book, but this will be a, a, a great little book to just to a quick read. Another one I got um, was from Goodwill, oddly enough. Um, samplers, how to compare and value. This is a Stephen and Carol Hubber book. And I haven't had a chance to go through this. I think I paid $3 for this book, but it just has all different kinds of samplers, Connecticut house samplers. There's a section in here on Quaker samplers, Massachusetts house. So it just gives you a breakdown. There's Welsh samplers in here, um, Rhode Island sampler, Vermont marking samplers, New Jersey pictorial samplers. So this is gonna be a lot of fun to look at and compare all the different types of samplers. It breaks it down, North American, be it Mid-Atlantic American, um, English darning samplers. Um, just a really neat book and I love the way it's laid out. So this is, this is a good book to have. And then I couldn't help it. I went on Fat Quarter Shop and I ordered um, a scrapbook of quilts. So this is just a book of scrappy quilts and it is um, over 30 quilt and projects starting from scratch. So just so many wonderful patterns in here, um, just beautiful designs. Um, I love looking at things like this. Um, I'm looking for another image to share with you. And here's the back of it. Just so many pretty pretty scrappy quilts. This one is the cover, just so pretty. So I got that in the mail from Fat Quarter Shop. And so that is all of my haul and my gifts. I am going to, okay, I did something a little different this time. I, because we had 15 giveaways last week for my five, for our 5,000 subscribers, thank you so much. 
you know, I don't want to be one to talk about subscribers a lot, but I want to, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you and appreciate you watching and coming back and sharing my channels, my channel with your friends. Um, so that's, that's why I talk about it. I want you to be able to have, um, something that I can give back to you in return. And so I had 15 giveaways last week and I decided this week to do a video of me and how I select the winners of the videos. And I am going to insert that video here so you can see full transparency what I do every week when I pick the winners of the videos. So 15, 15 winners, please listen up and listen for your name. Okay, let's do our random winner picks for last week for all 15 prizes. So this is how I'm doing it. And I wanted to show you all this for transparency purposes. So this is the website that I go to. It's called cometpicker.com. And what you do is you get your YouTube URL from the video and you paste that URL in there. And so that, all of those numbers there, I think y'all can see it. All those numbers there are letters that is for our last video and so this is where i enter filter comments based on the specific specific text so i'm going to do for number one get me those comments and so we had for the number one 514 comments for that so this is where we see who wins that piece or that item. Number one is the project bag from Creative Carol. And Ann Seeley, you are the winner for number one. So I'm gonna do that for each one. So number one is Ann Seeley. You win the project bag from Creative Carol Designs. Now we're gonna do number two for the Antique Bird Sampler. And sorry for doing it like this. I just, since there were so many, I wanted to have transparency in our um, winners. So for number two, I'm getting our comments. We had 379 um, people who wished to uh, win that. And Deborah Johnson won that. So I'm not gonna do that for each one of these, but I wanted y'all to see. Deborah Johnson. And I'm gonna write your name on each one. For number three, let's see. For number three, get our comments. And out of all of those of you who wanted this Nikki's Creations House of Cooking, we had 347 entries. And for that one is Sandy Kilpatrick. Sandy Kilpatrick, you win number three. And I'm writing these down as we go since we had so many. I wanna make sure to keep it all straight. So Sandy Kilpatrick. Number four was for a $25 gift certificate to Annabella's Etsy store. And out of those entries, we have 448 entries. So for that one, we have Marina Moda, Marina Moda, M-O-T-A. For number five is the 32 count Prairie Grass Lugana from Seraphim Fabric, and that's number five. And let's see, out of that we had 495 entries, so let's see. That is Seams Stitchy Floss Tube. Seams Stitchy Floss Tube. So, let me write that down. And she does have a floss tube channel. Seams Stitchy, okay. And then for number six is our 20 $5 gift card to Stitch Etc. So let's do the same thing, number six. And we had 
Um, 404 entries for that. And Veronica Bracamonte. Okay, Veronica, this is how you spell your last name. I'm gonna do a quick little show here. Can you see that? B-R-A-C-A-M-O-N-T-E-S. Veronica Bracamontes. Okay, number seven is Where Liberty Dwells. Let's see who, how many we had on that one. So for number seven, we had 311 comments and Diana Short, Diana Short. Number eight was for three designs from Homespun Elegance. So that's number eight. Let's see, we had 259 entries and the winner is Judy Fluke. Judy Fluke, L-U-K-E, that was and then number nine is the second Creative Carols Halloween bag. These are so nice. Y'all, please go and check out her Etsy page. Um, Creative Carols. Okay. Of this one, we had 360 entries. And Iris Andrews is the winner. Iris Andrews. Number 10 was this samplings of life, a tree of life samplings pattern. And we had 2 Oh, it's still thinking 278 comments. And Darla Sittler is the winner. Darla Sittler. Number 11 was this kit um, from Stitch House. Okay, so, oh, excuse me, Summer House Stitches. Summer House Stitch Works. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. So this was number 11. This is a great kit for a needle book. And um, for this one, we had 331 entries. And Patty Spencer is the winner. Number 12 for your Tomato Tuesday stitching is Tomato Dame from Plum Street Samplers. So let's do number 12 and see what we get. We had 292 comments on that one. And Viv's Crafts is the winner, Viv's Crafts. Number 13 is the Bowl Full of Scaries Plum Street Sampler Kit. This, we had, how many entries on this one? This is such a cute kit, and you get the chenille trim and the floss, Just you just choose your own linen. We had 285 entries on that one. Stitching Fairy, Stitching Fairy is the winner of that. Okay, Stitching Fairy. And number 14 is this Primitive Christmas from Shakespeare's Peddler, number 14. Not 43, but 14, <laughs> okay. And we had 232 comments on that one. And Terry Stevenson is the winner. Okay, so Terry Stevenson. And then number 15, two Halloween booklets from JBW Design. So that's number 15, our last one.
And on that one, we had 195 entries. And the winner is Sherry MacArthur. Sherry MacArthur. All right, everyone, thank you for entering to win. And so that was all of the winners of last week's giveaways. And now for this week, I have some giveaways for you as well. I believe we have seven this week. So what I want you all to do is get a pen and paper because you may wanna write some of this down. So the first item I am giving away this week is the tomato needle minder. B, uh, the Lori Holt Be In My Bonnet from Fat Quarter Shop, number one. Number two is a cute strawberry ornament kit that I purchased from House Triole in Williamsburg in 2017, and I never opened it. And inside this kit, you have the linen, you have the floss, you have the felt to make the top of the strawberry, but it is a cute Christmas ornament. And it says Noel at the bottom. And it's finish size, it's on 32 count. The finish size is three inches. Super, super sweet. So that's number two. Number three is this Scarlet House kit, a gift to thee. And what I mean by kit is you get the, the pattern and you get the floss. The linen is not in this. So number three. Number four, Heartstring Samplery. I wish you lived next door or next door, but it says I wish you lived next door. So that's number three. Sorry, number four. Number four. Number five is um, Sweet Friendship, Mary Ann Drake Design 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. And this is a beautiful sampler. This pattern has a color pattern and a black and white pattern. It says sweet friendship on the front. It has Mary, Dr Mary Ann Drake, age six years, 1856. So that is number five. Number six is a Lottie Da piece. And this is wed to thee. It's a family tree. So in the tree, you can put different initials. I love Lottie Da. So that's number six. And number seven, last one, Lizzie Kate. This is Sampler Claws, book number 191. So that is number seven. There are two designs in here. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to comment below and list out, because I keep thinking about just sort of that mom fail moment where my son's been walking around with a broken bone in his foot um, for about five weeks. Um, what is your most embarrassing moment or your um, mom fail or aunt fail, whatever, if you're not a mom or if you're you know, a sister, whatever you've done where you've just felt like you've let someone down. So either your most embarrassing moment or, or something similar to that. Um, comment below and like the video please and subscribe to my channel. I do have a YouTube, a, 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 of course I have a YouTube channel. I have a Facebook page and I have an Instagram page. On my Facebook page, um, there are some questions I would like for you to answer to be able to be uh, a member. And that's just so I know that you are someone who's interested in cross stitch. So answer those questions. Um, and I am on Instagram, the proper stitcher. And I have my email below. I'm the proper stitcher at gmail.com. If you won, from last week's giveaway, please email me within a week and I will get those out to you. All of my previous winners, if you have not received a package from me yet, don't worry, they're coming. Uh, between all the rain we've had, all the surprises we've had, all the things going on, I was a little late getting to the post office. And uh, so don't worry, they're coming. I promise I haven't forgotten about you. But for this week, for this video, like, subscribe, and answer below. And I hope that you keep coming back to me week after week. I do appreciate it. And my goal this weekend is to enjoy the holiday. I hope all of you in the U.S. enjoy your holiday. But I really want to be able to start off sampler September and get caught up in all my samplers and on some of my quilting. So enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your stitching. Um, just find time to relax. And thanks for watching. See you next week.